Welcome back, folks. Today, we're going to explore how to create the viral notebook trend. So let me get out of the way and follow along with me. All right, so I am starting off on the home screen because it's really important for you to understand that when you're creating a notebook, you need to know the size of your notebook before you can proceed to create it. So for me, I'm going to create a notebook that is the size of a piece of paper. Now, when you're doing this, make sure that you're just using a regular design, not a document. Each of these different types of formats have different customizations. And as far as I know, up to this date, with documents, you can't stack layers one on top of another. And that's why you'll want to use just a, a regular custom size design. So I'm going to click on custom design and I'm going to use eight by ten and a half inches for me. So I'll click that and that will open up a design for me. Now, the first thing that we're going to do or we're going to notice is that templates are going to open up for us, but we don't really need that. So I'm just going to click on my workspace. That's just a default action that happens. We're going to go into our elements section and in the search bar, we're going to type lined paper and you'll, you can either use photos or you can use graphics. I'm going to use graphics. So I'll go into see all and I'll see all of the different options that are available. I'll click on the first one right here. This one happens to fit perfectly with my page. So I'm just going to continue to use it and I'm just going to resize it until it reaches the edges. Keep in mind that this is 100% opaque. So if I move it over and I change my background color to something else, let's say I change it to black, I won't be able to see through this piece of paper. But I'm going to get rid of that background color and I'll just place this right on top. So this is my notebook paper. And before we continue, if you learn anything in this tutorial whatsoever, press the like button, subscribe and turn your notification bells on. If you want to learn more about my live classes, let me know in the comments and I'll give you more information. I'm going to place some text on my workspace and I'm going to call this um, the naughty list because this is going to be my Christmas notebook paper. For the font, I'm going to come into Anton and I'm going to change the font to a font called Redressed. This is what it looks like right here. And it's kind of a little bit Christmassy. Uh, I'll just decrease the font or text size to 46 and I'll leave it like that. I now want to add a couple of elements here to um, stylize my page a little bit. So we're going to come down here to Magic Media and Magic Media is your Canva AI uh, that's right in Canva. So you don't have to exit and then come back in. I, I'm going to want an image. I'm going to want a dreamy style image. And for the size, I'm going to choose portrait. And I'm going to ask Canva to create a Christmas tree for me. So I'll just say generate image. And here are a couple of images of Christmas trees. I'm going to take this one and I want to put this one right down in the corner here. But as you can see, uh, it is 100% opaque. I it, If I leave it there like that, um, you really can't write on top of that. So what do we do? And I think this is the, the issue that a lot of people uh, have is how do they blend in a photo like this? Well, we can, if we wanted to uh, remove the background, and for this image, background remover doesn't seem to work. I guess it can't determine 
what the background is in this image. So if background remover doesn't work for you, then you can go into edit and we can use the magic grab option to, to grab the foreground. So I'm going to grab the tree and I'll see if I can grab the gifts under the tree. I'll just grab a couple, but you get the idea. Okay, I'll say grab. And this is what that would look like. So I could get rid of that. And then I could put this here and I can make it transparent. And that would be your notebook paper. Uh, but what if you didn't want to get rid of that background? I'm going to duplicate this page. I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to bring that image back on my workspace because I really like that background in that uh, AI image. So I'm just going to make this a little bit larger like that. And let's go into elements and let's find some white gradient. And I'll select this one and I'll put it right over here. I'll just make that a little bit smaller to kind of fit the width of my image. There it is right there. I'll make a duplicate and I'm going to rotate this and put it over here. And I'll make a duplicate and just put this one over here too, kind of matching up the lines like that. Okay, so there it is right there. And you can do that all the way around, but I'm not going to do it all the way around. I'm just going to keep it like that. Now we can't really see the lines of the notebook paper because they're sitting behind this image. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to position and layers and we're going to bring that notebook paper all the way to the top. Unfortunately, when we do that, we now can't see the Christmas tree. But what we're going to do is we're going to grab that notebook paper. We're going to go to transparency and we're going to bring the transparency down just so that we can see that image. So there it is right there. And I'm going to go into position and layers and I'll bring that text up so that we can see it. Now we can also add some other elements like for example mistletoe. And if you're going to be selling this notebook paper, just make sure that you are using free elements or um, that you, if you're using Canva Pro elements, that you're going to be linking back to the Canva template. So for this, um, so for the mistletoe, I'm just going to go into my filter and just filter out free options only. Here is one right here. And I'll just place that right up there in the corner and I can make this a little bit transparent like that. Now let's do one more thing. So I'm going to make a duplicate of this page. I'm going to get rid of that image. And I don't need the gradients anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of those gradients. And I'm going to go back to my magic media where I created my trees. I'm going to place another tree on my workspace and let's see if we can remove the background on this image. Okay. Well, that didn't work very well either. So let's undo that and let's go back into edit. We'll go back into magic grab and we'll grab that tree. So we really want the foreground. So let's see if you can figure out what the foreground is. Or maybe we'll just click. So I'll click that and I'll click on a couple of these. Gifts. And I'll say grab. And now we have those gifts. I'll get rid of the background and I'll leave that like that. And I'll make that a little bit larger like that. And let's move this to the back. 
And that's what that would look like. Okay, I'm going to make a duplicate of this. And let's say, for example, that you wanted to place a large image behind the lined paper. So I'm just going to get rid of that image of the tree and the gradients because we don't need those anymore. And let's go into elements and let's search for a Christmas tree. And we'll go into graphics and we'll want something that is transparent. So I'll just choose this one right here. And again, we can't see the lines or we can't really write on the line. So what we have to do is we have to um, select that element. We have to go into transparency. We need to decrease the transparency enough so that we can actually write on the lines. Now you can leave that on top or you can put that behind the lines. Just make sure that you're adjusting the transparency for either the tree or the lined paper. And you can move that around uh, however you like. I'm going to make a duplicate of this page and give you another option. So what if you wanted to actually create a list that you can check off? Well, let's go into elements and let's search for lines. OK, we have uh, these lines right here. I'm going to turn this around this way and you can pick any lines, but I'm going to put these lines right here. And I'm just going to make them a little bit larger. And I'll duplicate it and then just add it to the bottom to make it longer. Like that. And now we can add names if we wanted to. So if I add some text here, let's say um, I wanted to um, put John. I'm just going to actually change the alignment and I'll put John there. I'll make a duplicate and put the next name down below here and say and add Anna and I'll add one more name and I'll say Bobby. And now we have the option to kind of check off a different options. Now, um, of course, it would be helpful if we had a little bit some headings here. So I'll just move these down. So I'll just move these down and I'll add some more text here. But this text is actually going to go in uh, our little sections there. So let's say um, we put makeup. And I'll add another toys. And I'll put board games. OK, now this is obviously just an example. You can use this for any type of theme, not just Christmas. But I'm going to rotate those. And I'm going to bring them over here. And I'm going to change the alignment. And that seems to actually fit in quite nicely in those little sections. So what do you think, guys? This is pretty much it. Not sure if you have any questions uh, about what I've just done. Also, if you wanted to add lines, you can just press L and that will bring up a graphic line that you can uh, add to your design like that. OK, let me know what you think about this tutorial. If you learned anything in this tutorial, which design you like best? And uh, if there's anything else that you want to learn, drop that in the comments as well. If you want to learn more about my live classes, let me know in the comments and I'll give you more information. All right, guys, for now, I will say bye bye until next time.